Hello everyone, how is it going? So today we are going to tell the story of Green Lantern Emerald Twilight comic book. So I will be telling the story of the Green Lantern Emerald Twilight and this event took place in a 19s comic storyline so it has not direct connection to newly published comic. So I'll get the video, but don't forget to subscribe and enable the bell icon and feel free yourself to like, share, comment. Green Lantern held Jordan in the middle of a huge crater that was once his home, Coast City, as he is remembering his past, including the time he met the dying alien Abin Sir, who before dying gave his ring to Hell Jordan who will be known as the greatest Green Lantern, in his hand the greatest weapon in the universe, the Green Lantern power ring and with enough willpower the wielder could do just about anything. So he began to create a willpower construct bubble and he creates a construct version of his father from his own image. He meets with his father, Martin Jordan, and the two Jordans have a talk about their relationship. Hell wants his father to be proud of him, since Martin only cared about Hell's two other brothers more than Hell. Martin then disappears through the smoke and a fighter plane appears. The recreation of his father's death is played out in front of Hell which devastated him. Then a construct of his mother comes behind him and tells him that the best thing to do is to move on and take the positive memories of those he love and then his mother's construct vanish, but it's not enough for the Green Lantern. Instead of just creating constructs of his memories, he proceeds to create Coast City as if it was never destroyed. Hell then finds a girl named Jennifer, his childhood sweetheart before Carol. As they are walking back to Hal's house, they reminisce about the times when they were together and how the biggest mistake Hal made was leaving her. When they reach his house, Jennifer gives Hal a kiss and disappears. Hal then goes inside and finds his father sitting at the dinner table. As he's about to tell Hal that he's proud of him, the ring's power dies out and a construct of Coast City fades away and Hal is back in the crater. Then. An image of one of the guardians of the universe appears and tells him that by creating a construct of Coast City, he has violated one of the most sacred laws of the Green Lantern Corps, to never use the ring for personal gain. Hal contends that it was because of his personal loss instead of gain, but the guardian refuses to listen and orders Hal to surrender his ring and return to Ova immediately. However, desiring more power, Hal destroys the construct of the guardian and absorbs the energy from it and proceeds towards Ova but to destroy the core, 